What is up guys, Rick Kak is here. Thank you so much for stopping by and today we have a guide for how to complete this week's brand new story mission within Season of Dawn for Destiny 2. Last week had you go and actually meet State 14, this week has you go and save him. You're gonna unlock a new triumph, a sick new cutscene, so how do you do it? Well, first things first, you need to head to Osiris and talk to him. He's gonna have three different things available for this week. The two new obelisks, one for the EDZ and one for Nessus, and then the brand new quest, which we're talking about in this video, completing an impossible task. The first thing you're gonna need to do is speak to Osiris. Then the quest step is going to update and you're going to have to go to Nessus and plant six different beacon locations. This is definitely going to be the tricky part. There is some weird locations certainly put in there. So let's start with the first beacon location right near the Exodus Black. Simply head to this area and then as you spawn in off to your right and on top of some things you can climb on, like on top of a big kind of natural structure. I don't know what you would call this rock. Uh, up here, there is the little white circle and you can plant the beacon or transponder, I should say, and that will complete one of those objectives. Then simply open your map. The next one we're going for is going to be located in the Hallows. So simply head to Artifacts Edge and then Sparrow over to the Hallows. Head down the giant pit and the location of this one is again gonna be kind of up top. Specifically, you climb up this bundle of rocks, this cliffside almost, that overlooks the area where the public event occurs over here. And as you can see, it's located up here. Moving on from there, we have two located near Watcher's Grave. The first one, very easy to get, simply fast travel there and just head over to the left kind of as you spawn in and it's right there in the open. The other one, however, that's kind of outside the map a little bit is a little bit more difficult. If you were to just spawn in to Watcher's Grave again, this time you're gonna head to the right and there's gonna be a Vex portal you can see. Walk through this Vex portal as you can see and it's going to teleport you to a different location. And then from here, you simply head forward, keep going through this cave, killing enemies along the way, and eventually you will find the circle kind of obviously located on the ground. All right, next up, we have one located in the Tangle. This one is pretty difficult. Now, it looks like it would be right here on the map. As you can see, we took a while trying to find it, uh, but it's actually gonna be located underground. You're gonna have to loop all the way around. And what you need to do to start this loop is go into the entranceway of the strike. There's a strike located, uh, the terminus strike located in the tangle. So head down to this cave that you can see me go in the background gameplay and simply follow this cave. There is a offshoot to the right, like don't take that, just follow this cave as if you were going through this strike. And then as you get into this large open area right here, you can find the location to plant the Vex transponder. This is definitely gonna be one of those ones that gets some people stuck for a while. And then lastly, there is one located in the cistern. So fast travel there and then simply sparrow to the left and there's that giant kind of lake of Vex Radiolarian Fluid. So head on here and then there's a cliff to your left, but there's a little piece of rock or whatever you would call it kind of in the middle, just at the edge of this cliff. And that is where the final objective is located on top of here. All right, now once you've planted all six of the transponders, the quest step is going to update and now you're going to have to find Saint 14's ghost. The interesting part is that on the map, it is kind of in the very center here. It kind of looks like you potentially go to Artifact's Edge and then go down. But if you read the description, you do go to the Pools of Luminance. It's a little bit hard to find. Essentially, you're going to travel to the cistern and then go a little bit forward and then off to your right. 
It's this little hole in the wall, as you can see from the background gameplay, you actually had to go through here in like the original storyline for Destiny 2, if you can remember, uh, to save Cade 6, but you head through here and that will actually load into the pools of luminance, like you can see it pop up on your screen. So you keep moving through this cave, you keep heading forward, again, the same route you'd take uh, for that story mission so many years ago, and eventually you will see some Thing that you can activate in this cave so you interact with this vex object that is going to activate a portal and then you head through this portal and then you will find the ghost And once you do, you're going to be prompted to go back to Osiris. You talk to him, your quest step updates yet again, and this time you have to do a few different things. You have to defeat 25 guardians, you have to get 25 super ability kills, and collect 25 orbs of light. So yes, you will have to venture into the crucible. I wasn't happy about it either, but it actually isn't that bad because thankfully it's not final blows. If you get an assist, so you get one shot on an enemy and then someone else kills him and it pops up with that red defeated on your screen, that will still count as one of the guardians defeated. So stick with your teammates, make sure you're just getting shots on uh, enemies, team shotting like crazy, you know, play, play the crucible like normal basically is what I'm saying, but that should be completed in not too long. But the super abilities and orbs of light, frankly, collecting orbs of light, I got that done automatically just with my time in the crucible. That wasn't too difficult. And it seemed like when other people picked up your orbs of light, it potentially counted for that step as well. So guardians and orbs of light, you'll probably do at the same time. Unless you're absolutely slaying out with your super, you may have some more super ability kills to get. And for that part of the quest, I would recommend doing what we did and simply go to the blind well in the Dreaming City. Uh, that's going to give you access to a ton of enemies to kill and give you a ton of supers. Every time you pick up one of those like orbs in the blind well, you instantly get your super back. You can slay out very easy to complete that last step. Once you've gotten all three of these steps completed, however, you're going to be prompted to go back to Osiris, talk to him again, and once you do, then the brand new quest is going to become available to do. The thing is, with this quest, it is power level 900, so keep that in mind, um, but it's also, honestly, not that easy. There is a huge boss fight with a ton of enemies in here so make sure you're actually using good gear and if you can bring a teammate or two along that's probably going to make your life easier in any event once you do complete this quest you're actually going to go and quote unquote save saint 14 and i'll leave you guys to experience that cutscene for yourself because it is absolutely epic and so that is it for the video i hope you enjoyed found this informative and if you did please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video if you guys want to see more destiny 2 content similar to this don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity the best way is to follow me on twitter at rick Kakis. that's linked in the description down below again i hope you enjoyed the video and as always have a good day